Mr. President, we welcome the report on Yemen from the High Commissioner but express our dismay about the status of the peace talks and the ongoing serious human rights crimes, abuses, and violations inflicted on the people of Yemen. In the previous session, we informed the Council of the status of the truce's terms and the dismal extent to which they were fulfilled. We expressed our concern towards the failure to uphold those terms because it would lead to the truce's expiry without extension and an escalation of war that would be most certainly accompanied by even more egregious human rights crimes, abuses, and violations. And here we are. We expressed our concern about the attempts to load oil onto tankers for sale without using the proceeds for traditional purposes of paying public sector salaries and shoring up the Yemeni rile with sound monetary policies that would support economic development. We stated this because we are of the opinion that the continued suspect misallocation of Yemen's oil revenues would directly violate the Yemeni people's rights to realize their full economic, social, and cultural rights by benefiting from their resources within Yemen's territory. Mr. President, we call on the states involved to immediately cease their interference in Yemen's affairs and impeding of the Yemeni people's rights to self-determination as it poses a direct threat to international peace and security. Thank you.